of thing. Now, what happens in chapter 16, verse 13, it says, So Samuel took the horn of oil, olive oil, and anointed him, David, in the presence of his brothers. From that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came on David in power. Do you get this association of anointing with oil and the Spirit of God coming on David? Do you see that this anointing with oil and the coming of the Spirit of God on David? Does anybody ever talked about being anointed with the Spirit? Anointed with the Spirit? That the oil represents like the Spirit of God being anointed. And when David is anointed king, the Spirit of God comes on David. But then the next verse says, Now the Spirit of the Lord had departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. Does God... When Saul lost the Spirit of God, did he lose his salvation? The Spirit goes off Saul. Does he lose his salvation because there's no longer the Spirit with him? Does God sick evil spirits on people? Does God, it says, an evil spirit from the Lord came on tormented Saul. Does God torment, does God sick evil spirits on people? Now, I want you to think about this, first of all. In the Old Testament so far, have you seen many, like, demons running around? Now, by the way, you go in the New Testament, Jesus and demons, do you have a lot of that? In the New Testament, Jesus and the demons all the time. In the Old Testament, have you guys read much of that? Okay. Have we seen demons? In Genesis, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Joseph. Do you see any demons? Moses, demons. Uh, Joshua, demons. Judges, demons. You kind of work through this. We're, there's, there's not much demon activity. It's a, is, is this saying God's sicking demons on people? Is that totally out of context for the Old Testament? It really is. What's the problem? It says that basically the spirits, the spirit, an evil spirit came on Saul. Does the word spirit mean different things? Actually, even in English, does the word spirit mean different things in English? You say that school has spirit. The school has spirit. Do you mean that the school has the Holy Spirit? Or Maybe that's true. Oh, with Gordon Cow. Anyways, does the spirit... No, I, I actually... Boy, that was really stupid. Okay, let me back off from that. Okay, I'm sorry I said that. Okay, that was wrong. Um, what I'm saying is a school has spirit. You mean what? They have enthusiasm, right? They have spirit. Um, do we even use the word spirits for other thing? Okay, somebody's at a party and their spirits there. Uh, we, we, you know, we we talk about uh, spirits. Uh, there's about being alcohol. Okay, and then spirits. Do we also use spirit? The person. Uh, would we ever say a person's down in spirits today? Person's down in spirits today. We would mean what? If a person's down, is spirit, their spirit is down. You would say what? Is a person like depressed and things? Would we use that? Okay. The Hebrew term ruach can also be used for many, many things, including wind and breath, but it can also be used for various things of spirits. And what it, let me read the rest of this context. I don't think this is God sicking demons on Saul. I th think the rest of this will explain this. Saul's attendants said to him, see an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Now what is the solution to this evil spirit? Let the Lord, let our Lord command his servants here to search for someone who can play the harp. Now, what's the deal with playing the harp? Demons don't like harp music. It reminds them of heaven, and they freak out. And they say, i got to have my, uh, uh, let's see, what is it called? Uh, heavy metal music, or I've got to have, that's the demon music and stuff they feel comfortable with, rap, you know, and other music <laughs> like that and stuff, R&B or whatever you guys use. But, of course, if you play country music, it drives them crazy, okay? Uh, so harp music, is that really what's being said here? No, but notice, but notice this. When the evil spirit comes on him, then let them find someone who can play the harp. I ask you, how many of you, when you're down, listen to music? How many of you, when you're down, listen to music? That's what's happening here. Saul is down in spirits. Why is he down in spirits? Because God's spirit is off of him, and he realized he's no longer going to be king. He's losing power as king, and he's depressed about it. So he is depressed, and when he's depressed, what happens? They call for a musician to come to make him feel better. And so I think that's what, it's not evil spirits so much as it is he's depressed, and this depression comes from the Lord, yeah. Um, when I was reading it, it made me think of Job and how... Job, oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um, and how God allowed the devil to, you know, touch him mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So it made me think, not necessarily an evil spirit from God, but an evil spirit that God allowed yeah. to come to him. You know, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everybody see, she jumped into Job chapter one there, where the you know one and two with Satan going up and down and things like that. That's possible. Is that really rare in the Old Testament, though? I mean, outside of Job, you're really it's really rare. And, I, and with the music thing, do you see why I'm associating with the music? Is like so. I just want to say he's down in spirits because God has removed the kingship from him. He's depressed, and then he he gets a harp player. Who's going to play the harp, by the way? David. Is David going to write a lot of the Psalms then? He's a musician. And so, David, you're going to see that in the Psalms. But yeah, but that, that is an interesting connection with Job um, 1 and 2. Now, does God send evil spirits on people? And what we try to say is no, this is more like depression, and the music lifts his spirits, and so um, that's what's happened. Uh, did people in the Old Testament have a relationship with the Spirit of God? Did people in the Old Testament have a relationship with the Spirit of God? The spirit was on Saul, and the spirit left him. Was that a spirit of salvation, or was that the spirit of kingship? Endowing the spirit coming on the person, anointing the person with the, the endowment of kingship. And so when it leaves Saul, it means the kingship is leaving Saul, and the kingship is going on David. And the spirit is endowing David with the gifts he'll need for, for kingship. And so it's not like salvation, like the indwelling of the Holy Spirit as you'd have in the New Testament. But the Spirit of God was very active in the Old Testament. Here's a case in point, um, and there are many others. 